Hi, my name is Peter Kelmström of Kelmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about working with text in the new page model. As you see, I have a page here that I've set to the home page of my team site. I'm going to go in and edit that. And there are two sections where you can work with text. First of all, there's this heading. And there's no options here. You can just type. You can just have one row, no line breaks. So just basically typing there. If you press enter, then you get down into the first text web part, which is down here. So you see, right click does hardly anything, and you can't do any formatting or anything like that. So that's the heading section. When it comes to the text web part, which you can add by clicking here. And that part has only a few options. You can select headings, pull quotes, and normal text. Those are the five options available there. Then. And those will follow the theme of your site, of course. So you might find it very useful. You might find it very frustrating, depending on what you're trying to do. As you see, you also have bold italic. Nothing strange there. The usual commands, the shortcut commands like Control B works also for bold. Control I for italic and control U for underline. So if you do a lot of that, that works too. And then you can align left or align right. Those are the two options there. Or a center, of course, also the three options. Left, right, and center. Back to left, there we go. Then you can uh, work on your bullet lists. And there are two options for that, either a bulleted or a numbered list. So let's try one of those. Point one. And then I make that a numbered list. And of course, when I press enter now, I get point two. If I select this, these rows, and change them to a bulleted list instead, that works, of course, also. As you see, you also can tab in to get a multi level, but you cannot shift tab to decrease the indentation. So you can only indent by pressing tab there. Same thing if you put that to numbering again you will get that kind of numbering with A, B, C. Now, if you tab again, then you get a numbering with uh, Roman numerals like that. So that's the bulleting and uh, works well. Let's take this away now to fit everything into the page. Backspace deletes stuff if you, if you are standing at the leftmost of the paragraph. To create a hyperlink, you need to type the text that you're going to link and then press hyperlink and then type in the web address. Uh, as you see, you can't type after this. You need to type in the HTTP there also, or of course, copy and paste work. There are no options here. The only option is to remove the hyperlink. If you want to open in a new tab or something like that, that's not really supported. Uh, if you've done a lot of formatting, you can remove all of it by clear all formatting there. One thing that I often see people doing is copy and pasting from Word into a web page. I'll show you what works and what doesn't there. So as you see, I have some um, text with um, highlighting. I have some bullet points, some bold, and a table down there. So I'm going to select all this and test what works in the text field here. Just paste all that. And as you see, that the bulleting worked, the bold worked, the highlighting didn't work. The table got changed into a um, rather strange set of um, paragraphs there. That concludes what I have to say and what I have discovered on the text web part in the new page model. Thank you for watching this demonstration.